Okay, so here I'm showing you what will be my plan to deploy Azure Virtual Desktop. So under my Azure subscription, I'm going to create all my resources in one region. And I've selected here is East US region. And under the East US region, I'm going to create a virtual network. And inside the virtual network, I'll be creating a subnet. And there'll be three resource groups I'm going to create. In first resource group, I'm going to create a virtual machine and going to deploy a domain controller in it. So this will be my Active Directory. And I will install AD Connect to sync all my users and groups to Azure AD. In second resource group, I'm going to create a storage account. And under the storage account, I will be creating a file share. And in third resource group, I'm going to create a host pool. So host pool is required to deploy the virtual desktop. Okay, so these are the steps which I'm going to use to deploy Azure Virtual Desktop. Just for the reference, I'm going to use only one region to deploy all my resources. So in the first step, I'm going to create a virtual machine. And in that virtual machine, I'm going to deploy a domain controller and going to install the AD Connect to sync all the users and groups. And in third step, I'm going to create some AD groups for my Azure Virtual Desktop, which will eventually going to sync in my Azure AD through AD Connect. And in the fourth step, I'm going to create storage account and I will be creating a file share. And then in fifth one, I'm going to integrate that storage account to my domain controller by using the PowerShell commands. And then the sixth one, I'm going to create some more groups in our domain controller and I'll be assigning some roles to my users, which I'm going to create here in the domain controller and we'll be assigning some roles and attach that to the file share. And then I'm going to mount that file share, which I have created here in step four to my virtual machine and we'll configure the NTFS permissions for the users and groups. And then I'll configure the FS logics container and I'll configure the NTFS permission as well. And in step nine, I'm going to create a new virtual machine. And in that virtual machine, I'm going to use multi-session Windows 10, which is the main thing which we require for Azure virtual desktop. And I'm going to generalize that image here. I'll show you the steps how to generalize this. And then in 10th step, I'm going to create the host pool and we'll deploy the image which we have created in this reference image in um, step nine. And then step 11, I will assign the AD groups to host application groups and assign some roles there as well. And in 12th step, I will create some more application group inside the host pool and assign it to the users and groups, which we have already created in previous steps. And finally, in a step 13, I'm going to test my Azure virtual desktop. So without wasting any more time, let's go to Azure portal and start using these steps.